Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati, and in this video, we will be talking about what is the use of fill any method in PySpark using Databricks. So, before we go to the video, I would like to introduce my channel Geek Coders. Here, I upload videos on Azure Databricks, Azure Data Factory, SQL, Python, and so on. So, if you are liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So, let me go back to my notepad. I have written here the definition of fill any method. So, fill any function is used to replace the null or null values on all of the selected multiple data frame columns with either zero, empty string, spaces, or any constant little values. And we have this fill any method, and here we have two parameters one is value and second is subset. Subset is optional. If you want, if you don't provide any any value in the subset, it will apply on all the columns. And if you provide any, you know, uh, column name over here, then it will just apply. It will remove or not remove. It will fill those NA only to the particular columns. So for this, uh, for this fill NA uh, tutorial video, I have created this demo dummy data set. Here you can see we have ID name age column, and then we have one two three, and last row is empty here. Like wise in name column we have a b value and this third row is empty and then we have d for this age column also if you can see we have this 12 and 11 and these two rows are empty and i will tell you is this this id and age are integer and this name is a string column okay so now let me go back to my database community addition and here what I will do, I will try to load this file. So I will write here df is equal to spark.read.csv and I will pass the path that is file store tables and then fill na.csv. And here I will write option what header comma True. and then options infer schema true and let me show this now if you can see here okay let me remove this Now, if you can see here, we have ID, name, age, column, and then we have the data. Now, you can see for ID column, we have this null and like everything is same, which I shown you in the Excel part, Excel. Now, let me do df dot print schema 2. You can see we have ID as an integer, what I told you, name as a string and age also as a integer now let me copy this code and put it over here and here i'm going to apply i'm going to apply fill method so na dot fill method i will apply and in value i will pass here zero for now so since this zero is an integer value okay it will replace null in all the integer columns so integer columns are what id and name okay so let we will see here see we have id name age and in id only this uh, null is replaced with zero in age these two these two values these two null rows will have replaced with zero but name column, since it is in a string, it did not replace this null. If you want to do that, what would you do? What would you do? You you can, you know, write like this. Now, if you can see, this null has been removed. Suppose if I write here F, then we'll see. That null has been replaced with F. Now, my question is, I am asking you to remove 
to remove null from you no know, from all the columns whether it is uh, whether it is a string or integer columns what would you do so what i will do I, what i will do here i will here write zero for the integer columns and again i will write na dot fill and here i will write value is equal to empty let's see it is correct now i am saying you that i need to i need to remove the nulls not remove the nulls or you know fill the nulls with zero value with zero value in this id column only not in the age column so what would you do what would you do you will we will write here subset is equal to um, subset is equal to id and you can see only id column has been updated but age column did not update this nulls value in age column did not update with zero for an example if we have you know like age and then we have uh, we have marks column also that is also an integer or either flow and we need to you know uh, fill those null values uh, those null values uh, with in the marks column so like id and marks column mark, mark column has to be updated with some zero value so you can write like this id comma marks then you can close this okay now suppose i am not using here infra schema if i remove this infra schema and if i try to run this then you will see that every column in a string format now if you apply now if you apply this function this function then it will do nothing see here this is also null this is also null this is also null because the schema is different you know the data type is different we have a string so we are passing here integer value or long value that's why it is not updated it did not update this id column and age column so you have to make sure whenever you applying this uh, method or function you have to make sure about the data type okay and yeah for this video this, that's it only i hope you have understood this concept fill na how can we fill the na's value or null value with some other value even with the constant literal also you can fill those value you can remove like you can fill with spaces uh, some integer number some some constant value too so yeah that's it for today's video i hope you have understood this concept and moving forward i will introduce some more concept in this series and yeah thank you